Good morning, everyone. This is Cassie Stumo. I am the marketing specialist here at EAC. We will start off today with an introduction of EAC, and then PTC's technical specialist, Anthony Garner and Paul Dye, will be uh, presenting to us on how you can communicate in real time with Buforia Check. Uh, everyone gets a recording of, uh, of the session pending any technical difficulties, um, and please feel free to ask questions along the way, and we'll answer them after the presentation. So first off, I will tell you a little bit about who we are. Um, at EAC, our mission is to transform the way companies design, manufacture, connect to, and service their products. Um, we are not only a value-added reseller for PTC, but we are the number one solutions provider for PTC in the country with experts in 22 areas of product development. Uh, we're located all over the U.S. with our headquarters in Burnsville, Minnesota. We offer our customers everything they need for product development, uh, from CAD and simulation software for the full product design process with Creo and Ansys, uh, software for managing service documentation, uh, such as ArborText, Buforia Studio, and Creo Illustrate, and software for managing product data, uh, such as Windchill, ThingWorks Navigate, and our EAC productivity apps. Uh, we assist with design and engineering projects and offer webinars and PTC certified training courses for continuous learning. We also implement the industrial Internet of Things and augmented reality into business strategies uh, to jumpstart initiatives around digital transformation and connecting all things in your company. We are also a commercial reseller for Form Labs. Uh, offering a series of the Form 3 desktop SLA printers at packages starting as low as $34.99. Uh, so really, EAC is just the company you need to partner with uh, to get all the technology you need at the forefront to make your team successful so you can continue to do the things that you do best. I'll go ahead and hand things over to Anthony and Paul so they can get started. Hello, everyone. My name is Anthony Garner. I am a virtual application engineer here at the Virtual Center of Excellence for Greensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm joined by my colleague, Paul Dye, and what we're going to be going over is um, PTC's um, augmented reality assistance platform, Euphoria Chalk. So I'm going to go into a couple slides before me and Paul will do a brief role playing demonstration of the capabilities of Euphoria Chalk. So let's get started, shall we? So just to give a brief introduction to the Vuforia suite as a whole before we dive deeper into Chalk, we offer Vuforia Studio, which is a solution to rapidly create and deploy scalable AR content built off and driven by the CAD information that your company already has. Vuforia Chalk, which is what we're going to be going over today, allows you to collaborate in real time with 3D annotations combined with HD uh, video conferencing. And finally, Vuforia Engine, which is a software development kit for creating across platform augmented reality applications. And what we're here for today is Vuforia Chalk. And Vuforia Chalk is a enterprise solution that's going to combine the most advanced AR technology today, along with video conferencing to allow you to essentially assist and um, reference back to each other using augmented reality annotations that we refer to as chalk marks, which are drawn directly onto the iPad, which makes it very easy for you to cooperate between both experts remotely cooperating into the field for whoever's ultimately working on that. So first, I'm just going to go into some of the capabilities of Euphoria Chalk. And one big capability is a very intuitive, very human-centric user interface. There's very few things in the world that's more natural to humans than just simply drawing on something, whether that be on an iPad or a piece of paper. With Euphoria Chalk, that lets people essentially draw directly on top of the context or the environment that they're ultimately working on in order to help solve problems more easily. And with that, you will have unlimited calls within your business for when you do need to refer back to an expert in order to solve any of these sort of problems. And it's a e very easily accessible app. It's something that's very easily downloaded through any app store that you're going to be using, either whether that be um, Android or iOS, it's very easy to get onto your device, whether that be a iPad, whether that be a tablet or a smartphone. And like I was saying before, it is fully compatible with both iOS and Android. 
going into a few more of the capabilities. It does allow for private business work groups on a secure cloud network. And within those work groups, you can, you do have further capacities for both management and analytics. It provides a single sign on so you do maintain absolute security once when you're actually working within this context of Euphoria Chalk. And we and it is provided with administrative support to ultimately what you need. So without further ado, we're just going to jump onto a demonstration here. And for this one, I'm going to be taking the role of a newer tech uh, who's having a bit of trouble with a motor unit that we have here in the office. And uh, my associate Paul Dye is going to take the part of a expert, someone who's worked on this for a large amount of time, who's going to help me work through my problems with this engine. So just give me one second to move over. Let me just... Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to initiate um, our chalk call through this app right here. Like I was saying before, it's an app that you can easily download from pretty much any store. This was downloaded from the iOS store. So it's going to go for our chalk. And here we have my contact within my organization. So here I'm just going to give a call to Paul Dye. And I'm going to show him my view of the engine. Okay. And the first thing it's going to have me do is start our video and just have it acclimate to the environment we're going to be working in. Okay, now that it's fully acclimated, I can now start communicating with my friend Paul to help me with this motor unit here. So, can you hear me, Paul? Yeah, I can hear you just fine, Anthony. How could I help you today? So, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this motor unit. I was hoping you can actually give me a hand. Yeah, no problem. So, what seems to be the problem? I'm having trouble getting it to start. Okay, well, first I'm going to have you check that the switch is turned on right here at the top of that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, um, now I'll turn the switch on. Great. And so is anything showing up on the monitor right now? Um, currently not. And as you can see, as I move my, um, my view here, the actual chalk marks don't float away. They stay stuck to the exact point where I, I or Paul have actually written them. So. Um, I currently don't see anything on the screen. Okay, then I'm going to have you check that. Yeah, it seems like you need to have the HDMI plugged in right down here on the bottom left. Okay, let me go ahead and give that a shot. Ah, there we go. And now we do have something showing on the screen there. Uh, what's next? All right, so I'm going to have you go ahead and turn on the green switch. We should turn on the motor. Okay, let me go ahead and try that. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay, then I'm going to have you check that the emergency stop is going to be disengaged. So you'll just turn that clockwise here. Okay. Excellent. Okay, anything else I could help you with today? Yes, actually, could you show me, and let me just make sure I have a different color than you so it's very clear. Can you show me how to work these solenoids up here? Absolutely, allow me to clear out some of the marks I've made so far. Okay. Hey, right. and so what you'll do here to activate the solenoids, the yellow switch on the left is going to work the left solenoid and then the yellow switch on the right is going to activate both solenoids. Okay, let me give it a shot. Excellent, thank you very much, Paul. All right, no problem. And just a couple of other features. If we happen to be working in a low light environment, I can turn on my flash and so can Paul if necessary. And if you happen to be working in a area that doesn't have a spotty internet connection, you can turn on low bandwidth mode in order to still facilitate any communication they're actually going through here. And once we're done with our communication, we're just gonna hang up. And essentially every time I or Paul have made a chalk mark on this entire um, session, it's gonna store a photograph 
for us so we can basically export that out to any sort of documentation or anything else necessary for um, for that entire session. We can't really store video because of privacy reasons, but you do have access to these photographs for ultimately whatever you ultimately use them for. Okay. And without uh, further ado, I'm just going to wrap it up with a, a quick summation of the value of everything I've demonstrated here today. Just give me one second to switch back. So with v 4 Chuck, you have the ability for remote mentoring of new technicians. This allows you to have your um, technicians who have been on the job for 30, 45, or 50 years to work from the comfort of wherever it is they need to and I really assist those new techs in getting up to speed as quickly as possible without having to um, bring their time or basically use time that's ultimately unnecessary on their behalf to get them sped up as quickly as possible. And with that, it's also provides the capacity for remote expert assistance for field technicians and operators. And with that, you're gonna be vastly improved both your repair and your service times. And with improved repair and service times, you're gonna have a much uh, highly increased um, equipment uptime. So that is all I have for us today, talking about Euphoria Chalk. Like I was saying before, it's a very powerful and very simple tool to allow for the most efficient remote assistance assisted with augmented reality annotation. So. Um, Cassie, are there any questions? I'm not seeing any questions in the queue, but thank you so much, Anthony and Paul, for that um, presentation and demonstration. Um, I'll be sending the recording of the session.